Hello and welcome to the Foley Society Reviews. Here I have The Animal Farm by George Orwell, first published in 1945. And this famous novella uh, is a political satire and uh, allegory to the Russian Revolution in 1917 and a very important work uh, in my opinion. But here we have the front cover. It's uh, blocked in a design by Quentin Blake, as you probably can tell. Uh, it's a very small book, very thin of course, it's a novella, but it's a very good size. Uh, for a pleasurable reading experience and the cloth itself is um, coated uh, on a closer inspection i would uh, maybe uh, call this a buckram instead of cloth it's definitely uh, heavily coated uh, in, and it doesn't have uh, those cloth uh, attributes that you're used to but overall a uh, good quality buckram or cloth binding Here we have the spine back cover here and here is the full design of the front and back cover and if we take a look inside uh, we get some beige uh, very smooth fan papers uh, thick paper here's the half title page and the front piece with the line drawings by Quentin Blake. Here we can see the title page with your tool, Animal Farm Affair Story Drawings by Quentin Blake. And this uh, book was first published by the Foley Society in 1984. And this book is printed on Abbey Wove paper. It's uh, printed and bound in Germany. And this is the 18th printing in 2013. So they have, have been printing this book quite a lot. And I imagine it's uh, one of their most popular books that they uh, sell especially since the price isn't that high compared to other editions uh, but uh, the book has no introduction no preface uh, nothing like that and just starts uh, directly after the copyright page uh, which is very unusual for full society books nowadays uh, i feel okay, so let's go and talk about the paper directly uh, the paper is uh, quite thick uh, standard abo paper uh, not as smooth as the uh, other uh, abo variants uh, but still very cream colored and uh, has a good thickness uh, definitely and the text size is uh, slightly above medium or medium in text size so quite readable uh, as well and now let's check out the illustrations uh, i won't uh, really spend much time on them because there are so many and they are quite simple as we used to for uh, from uh, quentin blake And that was all of the illustrations. Uh, you can see that the book is 104 pages long. The end papers at the back are exactly the same. And here we can see the nimble spine with black and white uh, headband. And it's of course Smithsone with a very rounded spine. And the book uh, does open up uh, fairly well, considering being uh, quite a small book. Uh, so that's, uh, of course, uh, positive. And with the book you, of course, also get uh, a standard cardboard slipcase, uh, this one being in brown. I hope you all enjoy this review of Animal Farm by George Orwell. I want to thank Claire for suggesting this book. Uh, George Orwell, uh, if you don't know, is uh, one of my favorite authors. Uh, Animal Farm was the first book I read uh, by him. Uh, but my favorite uh, by Orwell is uh, 
so far down and out in Paris and London, uh, definitely. But I feel like I've read more uh, about him uh, as a person uh, than I've read his work, so I should uh, probably get to uh, that as well. But if you have any questions about this book or any other book in my collection, then please leave a comment and I will answer it as quickly as I can. And if you want to support this channel, you can do so in two ways. You can either go to my Patreon page, which you will find a link in the description, or maybe a link up here or here. Or you can use my Tashin affiliate link uh, as well. But as always, I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I hope I will see you all next time. Goodbye.